Some software techniques see a big transformation to the image, but others are more about perfecting what's already there. One example of this is correcting lens imperfections, such as diffringing, the phenomenon where purple chrominance can appear at the edge of high contrast areas in your scene. This can be a particular problem to professional landscape and architecture photographers who need their images to be perfect and free from these issues to guarantee selling at a premium price. The solution is to take advantage of the powerful technology found in Affinity Photo 2, and in particular, the raw development persona that offers extensive options and tools to help correct lens issues and polish every pixel in the frame. The best part of this workflow is that it's very quick and simple to achieve. In fact, it takes just a few minutes and this means there really is no excuse to skip over the process. What's more, once you've corrected the lens issues, we'll show you how to progress the workflow so you can step on to making more global changes to your photo. So let's get started. When you open a RAW file in Affinity Photo 2, you'll automatically find yourself in the Develop Persona, which offers all the tools you'll need to make this technique happen. Start by zooming in to identify areas that will need our attention. So for example, along the edge of this lighthouse, you can see some typical fringing, and that will need sorting. You can click in with the Zoom tool, or if you want to zoom back out quickly, click Command and Zero. On the right-hand side of the interface, you'll see a control panel. The developer sauna offers a huge amount of options so it's easy to get a little lost. What we want to do is head to the lens tab and then scroll down and click on defringe. This will activate the various sliders effectively turning them on so they will now affect your image and be able to combat the fringing in your frame. Now when you click on the defringing box the software will automatically assess the frame and carry out a cursory amount of defringing. So let's zoom in and see what difference this has made. Okay, it's cleaned it up a little bit, but as professionals, we know it's far better to take matters into our own hands and take a more precise approach. So what we need to do is head to the defringe box, scroll down and find the threshold slider, and then drag this to the left. And you'll see that the fringing is starting to disappear. This has helped us a little bit, but we can go even further. Our next step to eliminate infringing in our frame is to head back to the defringing box one last time and locate this little box here, which says also remove complementary hue. Make sure that this is clicked and then locate the tolerance slider and drag this to the right. And you can see that the fringing is all but gone. Once again, have a good look around the image to make sure that all the fringing has disappeared. So this is our lighthouse without any defringing. You see the, the coloured hue there. And this is it with. And it's removed it from the lighthouse. So what we could do now is head to the basic tab and make any further changes we want, such as exposure tweaks or tweaks to the contrast or saturation. And now we want to exit the develop persona. We can head up to the top left hand of the interface and click on the develop option. This will transport us to the photo persona and here we can make a whole load of different adjustments. And in fact, you might want to take advantage of an adjustment layer. So you head to the layers panel, find the adjustments icon, click on it and you can choose from HSL, brightness and contrast or curves. And I'll make just a quick curves adjustment. There we go. And I think this is ready to be exported. So when it comes time for exporting, all you need to do is head to the top of the interface, find File, scroll down and select Export. And when the dialog box appears, you can save the file in your chosen format, whether that be a JPEG, TIFF or PSD. There we go. Have fun correcting lens imperfections in your images and I'll see you next time.